Hello, Hunt Chef Nation. Today, we're making rabbit, and I'm so excited. This is the first time I've ever filmed a rabbit dish. We're gonna make a sweet corn risotto, and I can't wait to bring this whole thing together and show you our rabbit dish today. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our rabbits broken down. Um, we're gonna leave the pieces pretty big. We're just gonna remove the hind legs um, from each side and then trim up the saddle here, right? That guy, we're right gonna pop that little hip joint on the back side. All right, there's one. We're gonna do the same thing on this other rabbit here and then we're gonna take these saddles, cut right through these guys. <laughs> So the rabbit, we're basically breaking down into sections. So this one, we just kept the back half. We got both the hind legs. We got the back part of the saddle, the center part of the saddle. And we're gonna do the same with this one. We're gonna flour them up in the seasoned flour. We got a little bit of sea salt and some stone house rib rub in there. It just has a, you know, a sweet flavor and has a little bit of cumin in the back to uh, create a really neat flavor. I think it's gonna go great on these rabbits. So we've got our rabbit quarters all floured up in the seasoned flour back here. We're gonna fry these guys and brown them on both sides. Really nice. So you can see the sizzle going back here. So we're browning this rabbit before we break it up. It's just again, it's gonna help build layers of flavor. And we're gonna go right over here into the uh, next pan to get our risotto started. And we're gonna get right in with our onion, the bacon. So we're gonna let the bacon render down, brown the onions really nice, and then we're gonna get the rice in the pot to start our sweet corn together. We have a little bit of celebrating to do. So the rabbit's browned up great. We're gonna get the extra oil off right now, like I mentioned earlier. That's good. Now we've got some Chardonnay. We're gonna deglaze with here. We're gonna let that simmer down, and then we're gonna go into the chicken broth. Right now, we're gonna get our, our Boreo rice in here to make our risotto. It's important once you get the rice in there to stir it and coat the grains evenly. So our Chardonnay is just about reduced where I want it to be in here with the rabbits. It's making a really nice consistency in the bottom, and that's what I was looking for. Now we've got our chicken broth. And we're gonna add that. We're gonna go ahead and cover this pan and let these guys simmer in here until they fall off the bone tender. The risotto is coming along nicely. The uh, white wine is all cooked out. And my rule of thumb when making risotto is that I add stock three times during the cooking. Each time I put it in where it covers the rice and then my fingernail. And that's worked for me for 32 years. Oh, well, the rabbit's looking great. We're gonna give it a flip in the pan here. So our risotto is ready to finish off. You can see almost all the liquid is uh, absorbed now. We're gonna add our sweet corn, a little bit of sea salt, and some black pepper. So we're gonna work this in, shut the burner off, turn the heat off, and let the rice kind of finish working its magic. So we're ready to finish off our risotto. Fresh thyme here, and fresh flat leaf Italian parsley. Back to the Pecorino Romano that I mentioned earlier. Get yourself a nice microplane like this guy, and don't be afraid to add lots of cheese to finish this dish off. I think that'll do it. Let's bring that guy right back up here. And we're just gonna work all that in. 
Lots of nice color in there now. And now we're ready to get the rabbit out of the skillet and bring this dish together. I'm here to tell you about my new line of seasonings. We've got you covered from seafood, to the smoker, to the grill, to roasting, designed specifically for wild game. You can find all these Eat What You Kill seasonings at HuntChef.com. A lot more coming for Hunt Chef Nation. So right now, our rabbit should be right where we want it to be. You know, I picked some black eyed peas to go along with this dish. Add a little bit of sea salt to our sauce here. And we're gonna be ready to plate our rabbit dish. So we brought all the ingredients together here and we're gonna plate this dish. So we've got our sweet corn and bacon risotto. I wish you guys were here right now. I hope you try this at home. Again, you know, change ingredients up, make it your own. Just have fun with it. Practice, practice on the risotto. And I promise you, you will probably always want to eat the results. All right, we've got some rabbit legs here. I'll take the saddle over right in the middle with it. Pecorino over the top of the rabbit as well. And we've got our sauce here with the black eyed peas. And we've got some a little bit of parsley, the flat Italian. You know, it's in the dish, so. I don't mind garnishing with it at all. Today, we made a great pan roasted rabbit dish, braised it down, put it over bacon and sweet corn risotto with the black eyed pea sauce. And I cannot wait to tear into this thing. If you're watching Hunt Chef on Mountaintop Outdoors, remember, always eat what you kill. Stay tuned, a lot more coming for Hunt Chef Nation. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and huntchef.com.